to introduce the monks' music to more people and raise money for their new monastery in Nepal, Mickey Hart and members of the Grateful Dead organized an American tour for the U2 monks. Going on the road, performing in auditoriums like this one, might seem slightly sacrilegious. But according to the monks, once the music and the chanting begin, they could very well be in a monastery in Tibet or India. The sellout crowd is a mix of meditators, ethnic music fans, and deadheads, faithful to anything the Grateful Dead is involved with. What is your favorite group? The group Gajosu is a group Gajosu, Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead? <laughs> To better appreciate this musical phenomenon, Mickey Hart teamed up with filmmaker George Lucas and his Star Wars technology. They wanted to capture all the monks' acoustic brilliance in a state-of-the-art studio built for symphony orchestras. Most of the monks had heard of Star Wars, but had never seen it. Their stopover at George Lucas's Skywalker Ranch for the recording was yet another quantum leap for them in time and technology. Oh, they love it. They love the PA now. They love the sound and the power, the sonic power and the capabilities of uh, their chanting. They feel that their sound is really getting out there, individually and collectively. The Dalai Lama, who heads the Tibetan monks in exile in India, has encouraged the Gyutu monks to take their music out of the monastery and on the road. Their growing popularity with foreigners is important to their plight as refugees and the survival of Tibetan Buddhism.